Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now here in my hands, the Ruger PC Carbine. This is a firearm. We've taken a first look and first impression of this, kind of an unboxing in one of my prior videos. Now at this point, I've had this to the range a couple of times, but I didn't start by literally breaking this out of the box and going straight to the range. I've done a few things to kind of get used to this a little bit up front to make sure it's gonna perform, to make sure I understand it, and that I'm leaving myself in a position to succeed my first time out at the range. So today's video, a little bit of a discussion. Do you guys, when you first get a firearm, do you kind of get it ready? Do you cycle through maybe some dummy ammo? Do you play with the magazines? Do you set it up a couple different ways? Do you just sort of feel it out before you go to the range? Or do you literally pick it up from the shop and head straight out and start blasting brass? I kind of want to hear a little bit from you. So what we're going to do today, I'm just going to talk to you about a few of the things that I did before I even put live rounds through this. Things that I did to kind of get used to this, feel it out a little bit, just hang out with my new gun, get a little bit acquainted, get a little familiar with it before I even put my first live round through it. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so again, as I mentioned, there are a number of things that I like to do when I get a brand new firearm. Here you can see I'm loading some dummy rounds into my magazine. I'm going to do a full cycle check of this firearm to make sure that it performs properly. In my opinion, I'm better off understanding if there's going to be feed issues. I'm better off figuring out if there's, I don't know, manufacturing defects or something that may be a flaw then I can translate back to the manufacturer before I even try to put live rounds through it. So to me, this is just a matter of practice. This is me getting used to the firearm, but more than anything else, making sure there's no major manufacturing defects. And the other thing that's nice about loading the magazine ahead of time, you kind of get a feel for if there's sharp spots or anything that's going to be wearing on you, just getting an idea of how things will go. Now you can see I'm also trying a few different optics, seeing how everything mounts on the rail, trying to figure out if there's any other accessories that I may wanna buy before I even get started here. But for the most part, everything going very well. What about my grip? How does it feel grabbing onto that forend, grabbing onto the guard? What about all the little accessories that I might want to mount up? So for me, I just have questions about all of these things and getting a new firearm, that's exciting. I just wanna play with my toy. I wanna be able to sit down, get a little Zen time, hang out with my weapon and understand it. So you can see mounting flashlights, where should the mount go? Where does it really work for me? Is it in the appropriate location? Can I still get on the forend? Can I get appropriate grip? Where does this really need to go? And you'll see as I work my way through this process, I'm making little adjustments, making little changes, and just completely outfitting my firearm with some of the accessories that I know I will need. And even furthermore, this does come with things like, for example, a pick rail. Do I want this on the top, on the bottom, on the side? Where does it fit? Does it stay where it needs to be? Does it get in the way of my grip? The only way to figure these things out is by trying it out. And I thought, hey, you know, what about a bipod? I have a bipod laying around. Is this something that would even work well with this firearm? And then even furthermore, what about the length? Does this fit my body style? The thing about the Ruger PC carbine is it does come with some spacers for your buttstock. So here, the ability to properly space this out before I even go to the range, to me, that's really important because I want to enjoy my shooting experience. I want to have success the first time I go to the range. So getting the appropriate length of pull, having the ability to appropriately get on my sights, all of this is stuff that you just figure out by getting into it. And the last thing I want to be doing is spending my time at the range. Maybe there's other people around. Maybe I'm just literally blasting brass for no other good reason, wasting my ammo, wasting my money, and quite frankly, wasting my time. So doing all of this in the controlled situation, the controlled environment, and just enjoying my time with my firearm up front, 
really does go a long way to the overall success with the firearm. And you can see here, little things, I'm getting my GoPro mounts ready. I'm gonna test some of these things out. The fact that I have this huge amount of M-Lock on this rail is awesome. So just playing around with different things. Now here you can also see, trying to get some of my sights roughly lined in, so that if I do go to the range and I wanna test my optics, I have the ability to do so. And something like a red dot for the PC carbine is literally perfect. I mean, so far, everything really good. And so making little fine adjustments and trying to get things roughly lined in so that when I get to the range, I'm efficient. When I get to the range, I'm effective. And again, furthermore, just enjoying my time and having success with my new firearm. So is any of this really required? No, but for me, it's the idea that I can get some things set up, I can get close to my setup and really understand my firearm. For me, it's part of the rite of passage of getting a new firearm, it's my zen time, and I just love hanging out and enjoying my brand new firearms. So all right guys, there you have it, a look at me just kinda hanging out, figuring out my Ruger PC carbine. Now, as I mentioned at this point, I've put a few hundred rounds through this. I'm definitely enjoying this. It's been awesome for me just getting acquainted with this firearm, not just at the range, but my time getting set up, figuring it out, getting a little bit of comfort, understanding the mechanics, just going through things and taking my time. For me, with a brand new firearm, that's part of the process. That's part of the ownership. That's part of the responsibility to getting a new firearm. So I'm curious again, for all of you, what do you do? Do you kind of go through it? Do you figure it out? Do you mount different things? Do you test some optics? Do you run some dummy rounds through it? Or do you just go to the range and blast a bunch of brass and call it good? Either way, I don't think you can necessarily go wrong as long as you're enjoying your firearms. For me, I know that as I mentioned, getting into it and stepping into the process is just part of the fun. Part of getting acquainted with my new firearm is definitely part of the process for me. And so, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless channel, which is more of my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, and backpacking excursions, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.